Let's look at some examples of oxidation of alcohols. In the first example, we are looking at a primary alcohol. Remember, this designation is made by looking at the carbon atom that's holding the OH group and then asking ourselves how many other carbon atoms are bonded to this. This carbon atom has one other carbon atom bonded to it, which makes it primary. A primary alcohol, when it is treated with PCC, is converted to an aldehyde. That carbon-oxygen single bond is just simply converted to a carbon-oxygen double bond. The next alcohol that we're looking at is also a primary alcohol. This one is being treated with sodium dichromate, sulfuric acid, and water. These are harsher oxidizing agents, and so not only does it convert the carbon-oxygen single bond into a double bond, it also converts that whole entire functional group into a carboxylic acid group. We want to make sure that we're being careful to not uh, add any carbon atoms in these reactions or take any carbon atoms away. These reactions have no effect on the number of carbon atoms in the molecule. In our third example, we're looking at a secondary alcohol. When we look at the carbon atom that holds the OH group, this carbon atom is bonded to two other carbons. That makes it a secondary alcohol. For secondary alcohols, regardless of what type of oxidizing agent you're using, the product is going to be a ketone. And then last on our list, this is a tertiary alcohol. The carbon atom holding the OH group is bonded to three carbon atoms. Tertiary alcohols cannot be oxidized, so there is no reaction here. Um, just to kind of imagine what it might look like if we did oxidize that tertiary alcohol, we'd get something that looks like this. And this carbon atom has one, two, three, four, five bonds on it, which is just not possible. So this is why tertiary alcohols cannot be oxidized.